How's it going everyone? Well, we got our new toy in today. So we thought we'd do an unboxing and uh, showing you a new scoop for metal detecting. It's like uh, extreme scoops. Looks like John sent us a, uh, comes with a finder's bag. That's always good. We can, uh, Use these for metal detecting and also when we go uh, shark toothing come in handy. We use those quite a bit, shark toothing all the kids and everybody wears them. All right, let's check out this uh, shiny new scoop. Well, it's definitely light. And the titanium, this is the uh, all terrain plus it's got the uh, small holes down the center also in the rear it has them so hopefully it'll catch that small stuff we used to use the uh well we still use them the t-rexes the t-rexes holes are three eighths i think these measure half inch on those a little bit bigger than what I would want those but I got plenty of the uh, small holes the uh, all train the regular all train doesn't have this channel with the small ones down in it I upped it to get that just so when you're tilting it up you don't have these bigger holes something falling out here it'll slide down and then catch it in the bottom down here in the other small holes. I'm real happy with it so far. Business card. There's some hardware in here. Oh, I think this is the scoop. Has the uh, oh, Allen wrench for putting the. There's a scoop that goes, or not a scoop, but a handle. And then you put a screw in there, I believe. All right. Might not come out that easy. Not that sides. Huh, oh, John. He definitely uh, makes sure it's uh, shipped good. Let me go grab a pair of dikes real quick. He has them stapled in. The ends here, so that don't come out there. So that's that's smart. It's good shipping right there. Make sure your stuff don't come out and get damaged and the guys just throw the stuff back in there. I get it out now. So I upped it for the uh, 44 inch handle. <clears throat> um, that's what I have on my other scoops. I was going to get the longer one, but I really didn't see a reason to go taller. Um, I think it would just got up underneath my arm too much. Yeah, I've heard guys talk about the handles and the definitely got some grip to them. We're still gonna put our T T grip on there. Excuse me, but I don't. Man, that does have a lot of grip on it. I like that. Nice angle cut on the uh, get a side view of it for it to match up in the angle of the scoop there. I'll loosen this up and make sure it gets in a little better. Oh, 
quarter fingers. This is definitely going to help me on the wet sand when I'm out there in the mornings or at low tides trying to hunt. Taking a lot of weight off my shoulder. I got a bad neck, so this is definitely going to help out. I'm kind of curious what that red line's for. Take this washer. I wonder what was on my hand. He's got anti seize already put on him. That's that's nice. That way, if you ever gotta do any traveling or anything with it, it shouldn't seize up on you. Yeah, I suggest taking that screw that screw out here makes it go in so much easier. I'm not gonna over tighten it. We'll play with that for right now. See how it comes over that like that. Never try to like to over tighten anything when you first put it in. Run it. Or it's just snug and a little past snug and then if you need to you can always tighten it but if you tighten it right down on it right away strip something out causes more problems down the road for you hey john does it a good job on uh welding though he's uh what his welds are dead on i don't really see any <clears throat> imperfections or anything I'm definitely not knocking the other scoops I use, or the uh, T-Rex and some other ones I use, but they're just kind of heavy on my shoulder, which I still will use them because I don't know how this is going to work in the water with the tides and the waves because it is light. It is super light. So I don't know down the water if this thing's going to want to move around a little bit while we're trying to detect and get down... I'm gonna have to use my feet to kind of get that scoop on top or if it's heavy enough where it'll kind of get to the bottom. I know these are foam filled, so this should float. I've seen in other videos guys have done, they put them in the pools, they float right up. But, well that's it guys. That was, uh, what did it take me, about two or three minutes to put it together unpack it and everything it is a uh, well designed and well put together I and mean, like i said the wells on this thing i don't know if you can see them in the video but they are uh they're top notch so we're going to take this out tomorrow and uh give it its maiden voyage and see how she'll hold up, how long I can walk on on my shoulder like this without it pinching my neck and but yeah there it is the new extreme all terrain plus water scoop titanium but we'll see you on the next video we'll take it out to the beach and uh show you how it works appreciate y'all watching